Squarespace product page tutorial customizing product page on Squarespace. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we customize our product on our online store on Squarespace. Basically it's pretty easy, let's get started. I'm going to log in using my Gmail account as for me this is the most suitable variant and here we are on our dashboard and as you can see i have a lot of different websites and i also have some stores here so let's click on one of our stores and here we are as you can see we have like commerce folder where we can manage basically all the products in our store so let's click on commerce to come to commerce folder and here we are. Firstly, what do we have? In the left side, there is like menu where we can manage all this stuff with orders, inventory, customers, discounts. Also, we can even sell memberships and so on. We can like also um, discover new sales channels with products on Facebook and Instagram, Google Shopping and so on. And the Squarespace also provides us the opportunity to try um, the Squarespace like online store for free. They have like 40 days trial. Let's go to uh, like inventory to discover all the products. From this page here, we can manage every single product we have. We can add, we can export, we can import products. So as for me, it's pretty cool. In order to manage the existing products, we just simply need to click on it and here we are on our details area where we can find the detail, we can change them, we can customize, change the product name, change the description, change the images. So as you can see, I have two images here, uh, change the inventory, uh, add the fulfillment, organization, visibility, marketing, checkout and so on. So when everything is done, we can just simply click on save. We also have the option to delete or we can duplicate this product. We can also leave a feedback if we need, so let's click on save. And in this case, this is a way of how can we interact with an existing product. We can also add new products. So if you click on add product in the right top corner, we have the option to switch between different. We can use like physical, sell physical products, digital download, membership, scheduling, video on demand, gift card or service, or we can even import from Etsy. So sometimes it could be really helpful if uh, so we can easily like connect the Etsy products to our Squarespace site. So let's try to add maybe physical product. If you'll click, uh, all we need to do is just to fill some name, the name of the product, add the description, and also add the images. Also, we can change the inventory options like price, on sale, unlimited stock, SQY here, add, add the fulfillment and organization. So there are a lot of options we can customize. If you'll go back and we'll try to add, for example, some digital download, we'll have to add more like different stuff. For example, at least the inventory where we need to upload the file, we are going to um, sell. So customers receive a secure link to the file lasting 24 hours after the first download. So yeah. And in this case, we, uh, we can see that there is like different fields for the different services. For example, for the membership here, we need to add some other stuff. For example, we can change the name and the pricing and so on. And, and the negation could be a little bit like different as for us, but um, it depends on the product we are going to sell. So if you'll go to inventory, we can also find in the left side, there is like option to filter. We can switch between physical services, digital downloads and so on. We can search products in the search bar here. We can export all if we need in the CSV like um, CSV variant. We can import if we need from Etsy, Shopify, Big Cartel, or we can upload Squarespace CSV here. And we can also manage the fulfillment profiles as you can see. So if we'll come back, we can also manage a lot of analytics. We can go to analytics area and from here we can manage all of our sales. We can manage traffic and we can manage traffic sources. 
so it's pretty cool. And what is really interesting in the commerce area that we can deal with customers. So from this page here we can find the subscribers, leads, customers, first time customers, repeat customers, members, donors and so on. So we can easily like uh, manage all this stuff from this page uh, here. And this is a way basically of how can we, uh, you know, interact with products, manage leads, uh, find traffic sources and so on. And if we need to go to editor and customize it from here, we can find that we can simply manage items from this page and we'll go to the shop basically so we can manage categories product sales we can add product the same navigation here and uh, we can also like manage shop so as you can see uh, there is like no option to manage products from the editor we can only do this from the uh, like managing page. So on this page there is no option. So we can simply only click on manage items But we can simply move uh, edit the wall section. We, we can move it down move it up uh, We can delete even but there is like no option So we can simply try to add maybe a products area. So if it will count to products We can find some uh, Some stuff. Let's try to re-upload Maybe it was some crash or something like this. So if you'll click on add section and if you'll try to go to products, uh, we can find the different templates here. So from this page, we can easily add some templates um, for the product where we can try to sell something. For example, this one here. And basically, yeah, if you'll try to discover the paid plans, we can go to subscribe. And as you can see, there is like commerce plan, basic and advanced $27 versus $49. And we can easily start the online store for free. As I already like said, we have like 14 day trial. And after that, if it's suitable as for you, you can decide which plan is the best. So advanced has all the features from basic and also some additional like abandoned cart recovery, sell subscriptions, advanced shipping, advanced discounts and so on. So uh, you can easily try for free and after that decide is necessary as for you. But yeah, this is a way of how can we manage our online store, how can we customize the products. And I hope guys this video was helpful for you. If it is, please leave a like comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. Goodbye.